from New Zealand. That's so weird. It's um eight Arizona time, nine Colorado time. I'm losing my mind. Um, I'm sitting in this big chair. So I am in the cube apartment. I don't know if you can see anything, but that's our kitchen. Uh, the lights are off. We're trying to like power and stuff. Um, but anyway, yeah, that's that's life here. So anyway, um, as you all probably know, I just got back. Well, not just. I got back about a week ago. Tomorrow night will be a week ago. Um, from my spring break. Here it's just break because um, it's not technically spring yet. Um, just got back from Abel's Hasman and I took a ton of videos. Well, I took a ton of pictures. Videos, not so much, but I tried. It was kind of hard, you know, climbing up rocks and stuff. But, um, yeah, so I wanted to share all these videos with you. However, going back and looking through them, I noticed that there wasn't a lot of good narration and that some of it won't make any sense at all. So, I wanted to say hey, um, but also instead of typing the narration because I think that kind of, it gets old, um, and instead of writing emails, I'm saving my wrists and my hands for writing papers because I'm going to have to do a lot of that coming up. Uh, so yeah, I just figured I'd take you through the clips, um, through sort of a narration. I know a lot of you know that I have um, been through quite the adventure. And so yeah, now you'll get to see it on film. And I hope you enjoy it. Um, I know I did, and just keep in mind these videos do not do it justice. It's, it's the most amazing place ever. And, um, God, it is, it is perfect there, so, um, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll take you through, so, let's get started. Okay, so, the first couple of clips you're going to see are on the Inner Islander Ferry, which took us from the North Island to the South Island of New Zealand. Um, it was, it was really exciting. At first we were so, so excited. I, I, I was like, yeah. Um, yeah, so there, it's gonna, yeah, just be on the ferry. Um, it was a three hour trip and it was, it actually went pretty fast. The first time it was really good. I was surprised. Um, yeah, we go from the ferry to our first town, Picton, and yeah, that's where this takes you. Can you tell how vertical that is? Like, it doesn't look as bad on camera. Ew. We're getting ready to leave on the ferry, and that's the view of some of Wellington there from here. Um, yeah, we got our lifeboats. It. Yeah? They're sheep. They're sheep? Oh my god! You're so cute! Oh. <sighs> and this is the view we have before leaving. Yay! No, you <laughs> this is Haley. <laughs> Haley, come back! No. You can't escape the camera. She saw my work last night and she's afraid of the camera now. <laughs> Seriously, it used to be fine. Wait. That's pretty. Bird 
to find. And there's the down there, but I can't zoom in on them because this camera's poop. So I figured I'd just come in and tell you that once we started moving, it was so cool. This was my first experience on a ferry on any sort of boat that's bigger than the Scots boat. <laughs> um, because I was on the water last summer in his boat, but it was a lot tinier than this ferry. And it was so smooth. It was so cool. I was terrified I was going to get so seasick. But um, I was good. I was fine. And I love that because I can go wherever. Um, I will. And uh, yeah, it was the coolest thing. It was you just feeling the wind when you leaned over the edge and stuff. It was... It was pretty awesome. It was awesome. the South Island, I knew that I was going to love it. It was beautiful. The first video I took that you just saw um, was inside the ferry, so that's why there's all those water spots on the window. Um, but I got out and filmed more and took more pictures of it outside, and it was the most incredible thing. Just sailing through this water and just seeing these islands appear out of nowhere, just like they rose from the sea. It was... <laughs> It was unbelievable. It really was, so. outside and it's freezing. It was so cold. Yeah, it was bad. So the wind that you hear on that video, I know I said it in the video that it was cold, Haley said it too, but it was freezing. It was okay on one side of the ferry, um, it was still cold. But the wind wasn't as bad, and it wasn't like as chilling. You walk to the other side, and it was just like, whoosh, just it was crazy. So um, anyway, it was really cool, but totally worth it to get the pictures and the video I took. Um, so we ended up arriving in in 
picked in, I was going to say Nelson, um, picked in at 2.30. We got off and we went to the aquarium there, which I was incredibly excited about because I found out they had seahorses and then I found out they had blue penguins. So I was, I was so pumped. Me and Haley are all assuming that it's going to be this fantastic, fantastic adventure in Picton. We thought there was going to be tons to do and that the six hours we had from layover would be absolutely nothing. And the aquarium was cool. Um, these next, these fish that are coming out were very interesting. They're all meat-eating fish. Um, they're a little disturbing. But yeah, the guy came in and was feeding them other fish and it was just kind of gross. So, that's what that is. Okay, <laughs> this was one of my favorite parts of the entire week spent away from Wellington. Um, we went in and the guy was feeding the fish and you know it's apparently a big thing because people are all gathering around and stuff and then after he was done talking about the fish and feeding them he said okay now that the fish aren't hungry anymore I'm gonna bring the blue penguin out and so I was like I was so pumped and he brings out this little blue penguin in wrapped up in like this little baby blanket it was the cutest thing ever oh my god I, I just wanted to die it was so cute and he set him free in the water and the penguin just like takes off he's just swimming he was I think we stayed there for like the half hour 40 minutes maybe even longer just watching the penguin swim around he was so cute um I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to hear the the backstory on it uh, but if you listen closely in the clip you'll hear the guy saying that um, they found this penguin crushed by rocks that's what's wrong with his back that's why he's got like that white spot um, and that gets waterlogged a lot which prevents him from really swimming underwater well and moving around and being able to escape predators um, so they're going to keep him until that was creepy I thought I heard somebody call my name um, they're gonna keep him until he's all healed up and then they're gonna set him back into the wild so oh he's so so cute so um enjoy <laughs> So he's, he's a wild thing. We get um, sick things for the injured. Oh my god. Um, that, that is rehabilitating because I've been injured. So we, get, we have a um, sort of special license that we get from the Department of Conservation to rehabilitate sick penguins. Uh, so it's not just penguins, we get uh, other seabirds, we get cormorants, we get shield worms, we get um, seagulls. Oh, we get quite a few birds in here. And, They've been, eat, they've been eating the fish hook and they can't swallow them anymore. They've been hit by a uh, speedboat, uh, hit by a car, something like that. Um, and then we get them back up to health and we get them back. Some need surgery. He has what he was, he was in his hole, his burrow, if someone was bigger with a backhoe digger. And what happened was all the rocks crushed him. And it caused that massive graze down his back. And as a result, uh, he can't swim properly because that becomes a water log in his feet. And it affects the swimming ability. So he can't dive properly with the fish. And therefore he gets um he gets slow. Uh, you know, what he does, uh, we get him back up to house here before we let him go again. He's fully grown, he won't get into the Um he's one of the smallest thing when they are the little blue penguins here, and he's only get him in Australia. Uh, and you get that pink you get in South America and uh over here and fill in the pattern uh seals, seals. And that's the reason that it's coming to the camouflage blue. You swim it above, you can't see it against the blue ocean. You swim in the white color, find one that eats, you can't see it against the white color. And there's a sort of outline of the um, surrounding coast. Just guess what? Just like my great bird. Just like that. 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 Just like